My name is Jacob Gill. This is a research project for Health 4308 at U of H Clear Lake with Dr. Eminem. Um, this project is going to cover the Bulgarian split squat and we're going to be using a specific variation where our rear leg um, is being held by a suspension trainer. Now we're going to talk about why we would use this exercise in our program. We're going to talk about some contraindications, some coaching cues we can use, um, as well as uh, where this exercise falls on Gentile's taxonomy chart of motor skills. Muscles used involve the glutes, the adductor complex, the hamstrings, and the quads. Um, now the reason we would have this exercise in our program is for an athlete or whose sport um, incorporates a lot of multi-directional movement, some accelerating and some decelerating, um, and just overall um, athleticism. Um, so we're going to want to make sure that um, as we incorporate this into our program, um, it falls in line with how we are progressing the athlete. I found some research called electromyography of the hip and thigh muscles during two variations of the lunge exercise. Now what this research study did was compare a standard lunge to a lunge that has had the rear leg suspended by a suspension trainer. Um, and what they found was that four out of the five muscles that they had hooked up to the EMG had a greater muscle activation using the suspension trainer. What that means is it's gonna be more effective at getting those muscles firing as you're performing the exercise. Now as far as where you would want this exercise in your program, it is a progression from a standard lunge. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure um, that the athlete is capable of performing a standard lunge before you have them um, do a suspended rear leg. You could also have the athlete put their rear leg on a stable surface such as a chair or a bench um, before you have them do the suspended trainer exercise. Either way, you're gonna have more muscle activation than you would in a standard lunge. As the athlete is performing this exercise, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you focus on a few things. As they are lowering themselves and raising themselves, you're gonna to wanna to watch the way that their knee is tracking. Um, if the knee is collapsing in, um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you uh, stop doing this exercise um, and do some training that is gonna help with that. Um, if the knee is tracking outward, you also wanna make sure that you're not doing this exercise with that athlete yet. As far as where this exercise falls on Gentile's taxonomy chart, I found it to be in the box 3A um, because it was a body stability exercise that did not involve any other objects. Um, it was regulatory conditions and there was no intertrial variability. What that means is as they're performing this exercise, they're gonna be doing the same motion over and over again for a set amount of sets and reps and they're not gonna be using any type of object. If you did want to progress this exercise, According to the chart, you could incorporate a medicine ball and have them throw it back to you as they're doing the exercise. But as we have the exercise here in our video, um, this is a 3A in motion regulatory conditions and no intertrial variability uh, skill.